to the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Be the agenda. Oh no, that's a minute's approval. Never mind. That's 
I was just wondering before the consent agenda because the consent agenda is going to. Well, let's take a vote that we all agree with you on the consent agenda. Okay, so um, uh, this is to add, and we'll have to add it back to the item just to accept yep. all minutes and decisions in prior meetings. So that, is that no, it's say? that add, we're adding, adding that one. Asking to amend the initial file. Asking to amend the initial file. Okay, yeah, but two add. No, I know, but not yet. Stay what you're adding. And just kind of what I was trying to say. Okay, but right now we're just moving that we can uh, amend the agenda. Okay. Then we've been seconded to. No, wait, hasn't even moved. Second. 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 Okay, yeah. Good husband. Yeah. Yeah. We've been seconded to uh, change the agenda and add action and later to accept all prior meetings and decisions. Yeah, I mean, so go ahead, Mr. Chair. Yes. Did you have that? Actually, it should be four point two. Point five. Four point two. Because because I want to. We really need to approve it before we have the meeting. It doesn't matter. Four point two is fine. Four point two works. Can we do have one more discussion, however? We have two three point zeros. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. We have two three point zeros, so we need to change that all by itself. Learn how to do it right. 
<laughs> or a game deck. All right, well, then we're going to go now to 5.1. SHSC Integrated Pest Management Program, IDF Assessments. What would you do? That's the union sector. Union sector. We already accepted. I know. We did the same thing. Bye. Okay. Bye. Okay. You can't. You can't. Yes. <laughs> okay, no, it's, no, it's because I was looking at it. The number is in math. No, we did with the six. Yes. <laughs>
if there is not a certified teacher sitting in that class and it's a scheduled class, that too is considered um, an abbreviated day. And with the abbreviated day, there's um, multiple checks that have to go in. Now, mind you, that's really focused on students in special education and 504 or their potential or they're being tested to be in special education will fall under this rule. The other piece where it can create issues, um, as an example, if we have a child that's on an IEP and they have enough credits in school to graduate on time, so they want to, their senior year, take half a day and work the other half, they're on, they're on a abbreviated day and the district is subject to fines. There's a workaround. You have to have, a, have an IEP meeting, sign some documents and say, as a parent, we agree to support this. And I believe that has to be reviewed at either every 60 or 90 days. So there's a lot of rulemaking being uh, done around this to make sure we're doing and know how to apply the rule. There's lots of um, lawyers that are coming through it so we can stay on track. I, I'm pretty confident that there'll be some adjustments to this. My hope is that it's not going to impact options that we put in place for students. Um, so I think that people who want to read the bill will make those adjustments. And that's, that's my worry. So 
So you have to have that agreement with the family that yeah, it's okay to put their feet on as part of their IEP plan. And then that gets reviewed on a regular basis. Okay. So just by just by doing our normal slack and we are in compliance. You should be. But there's there's additional Um, yeah, we'll make this up. Yes. And then that maybe they just do it for behavioral or anxiety reasons, but don't have an ID or a bio or are not going to get or get those in place or come back. I believe I believe those those are fine. Okay. Um, <laughs> Our favorite topic. So next week I have a meeting with uh, some architects and engineers and folks to talk about the baseball field, softball field. This is an option that we're looking at. This is the softball field that's in the yeah. place of the current softball field. This is also in the place of the current softball field. Um, trying to decide whether we want to have this push out of here. Put out of my grave. Take it out of the wall and put it to my If I wouldn't do it, it would take an excavation. What it does do is it provides I think pretty close to a full field or soccer pitch. That I don't I don't believe that would ever be used for um, a game, but it could be used for practice. Caveat would be this has to then be a removable field, which isn't terrible. Um, the next question is do we put lines? And I guess for me, I cringe to have lines going all the way down into the baseball field like that. So I don't know how useful that would be to actually add it. The band would love it. Yes. Because this is what they do with the two trees. Well, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, right now it's in reality, it's the band that would love it, but they also want lines or they feel yeah, like they like it. Has, it has. Could we? They need to be lines with 20 yard lines and 20 yard lines. Yeah. To, to make it work. You know, at least 20 yard lines. Could you put, can you put cones? Like, could you put like dots, dot, 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 and I think so. Yeah, they do buckets now. So you just put cones on, but you need the lines. They actually paint the lines on the dirt. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They go out there and paint them. And the reason being is that you're trying to line up a group of kids on a spring. Where they yeah. are. And the, yeah. referencing dots is pretty so tough. Yeah. Do the lines that can be taken back off the flesh off of the That's what I was just saying. I did ask Jared because one of our meetings, the, the church people said, oh, you just paint it on with the other chalk paint that you the regular black and grass and wash it off. And Jared said, actually, today I asked about it. Can we paint some blue lines with that stuff or javelin? First put in the field, the lines are still there. Maybe it doesn't and wash off too good. Like I said, just simple like white bucket. Right off that little bit of the line. Suddenly, then we could just carry your whole clock time while you're not playing softball. We did actually, I've gone to eight more strings, but it's just right there. Okay. It's not the nicest thing to do. You're just stuffing that in yeah, and then you're pulling it up. Yeah, I'd be afraid to get pull it out. Yeah, pull it out or, or make it sticky and everything that blows on top of it. Yeah, have a game that we're playing, a blue chalk line is taking all the time. Yeah, I'll tell you what they could do if you didn't want to do that is they could put the actual paint them or replace them. Cost too much to probably place them, but, but white reference dots so you could go across the line so that you don't have this big 
peel your own land there, but you have like reference dots where the 10 yard, 20 and the 30 yeah. and the 40 yard, and they're just lots 10 yards apart that at least kids can kind of orient themselves. But there's no way they can make us under high school kids, first of all. I mean, they just can't. It, to orient a straight line when you're marching in the one you want is without the music. I do have one of yeah, we'll put all these dots on the page with no lines. It, you know, it doesn't work. As far as where can fans be? With the team? Yeah, because when you're sitting clear down here in the corner like you would normally for a softball game, you are not going to see way down the soccer field if you're in. Yeah, you normally you're on the side. It, this isn't for a soccer game, it's for soccer practice. I know, but still. And, yeah. It's I, a little more softball down. This is the upper field. That's the baseball field. Okay, so where are we That's actually going to do both? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to softball field here. So this isn't actually as great as both as I would think. Okay, so that was the baseball This is the softball this is, field. This is the softball field, right? Where here's, is this? Here's the fire highway there. And the, the current. I had them switch. That's where oh, like, yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah, you I'm sorry. 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 Yeah. If, if it were me, I would only strike the, the last half of that field. But just, so you could strike this, and then you could strike down to maybe here or someplace, you know, just so that people can get oriented, or I don't know. But I don't know that I would. So you need, I like so how, many, how, many yards, how many yards do you need? If it's 20 to 20. It's 20 to 20 yard line, yeah. So 20, 30, 40, 50. 60, 70, 80. Well, that we should do the math, right? Mm -hmm. This is the subtraction. Right. So, could, so well, we do a lot. Of, you have to count 20 as a zero. So this could be 20. Yes. That would be 20. I wonder, I wonder if that would work. I could ask about that. Because I, I think I could move those lines down to here. It's just, I hate going to courts or fields and there's lines there. football lines going here, baseball lines, and all cross line here and the mm -hmm. soccer pitch. There's some good ones though that we play on and never notice. Like especially that dark or gray, they kind of blend in and it's just a marker. But it looks like dirt. Well, Once you got into the baseball field, you can do it. That's a two point. I wonder if it could be just a different color green. Yeah. Like through the whole field we get we get a goofy name they call us the well, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's a zebra it's, field or something. Like, no, if, like every, football field. if every yeah. 10 yards there was a, a foot wide stripe, then you could just put a cone out there. Or oh, you could just use different colors of lemon and black, or lemon, not lemon and black, yeah, different yeah. colors of yeah. green, so you have light green, dark green, like yeah. a baseball field. Right. Oh, like a full. Just 10 yards. 10 plus. yards light green, 10 yards dark green. And that's green. why you can't do that foot stripe because oh. that'd be thrown off your. Yardage anyway, but you could definitely make the wide part of your If, if you use 10 yard different, different colors, that isn't even going to cost your money. That's, yeah. that's a good idea. Yeah. And yeah. then don't cut in the white lines. Or yeah, that would work, right? Yeah, that would work. Because you, you know where that line is. You know where you are. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah they're <laughs> no. I mean, if you, yeah. if you look at a. I mean, you don't have to put. The lines in the, I mean the baseball fields now they they mow them like yeah, on get the, yeah, give a contrast. Yeah, and then maybe but, just on the sides. And this stuff the comes ten yards wide, we know that. I wouldn't that's, that's the size of the strips. So you just you could you could put it along. So put ten. Well, only the only thing you can't do is make them green and yellow because that would just upset. Yeah. Oh yeah, then we take the other guy's side. Oh, but 10, 20, 30, if you at least just put the numbers at least one side, everybody's all on the same page on that part of it. That wouldn't mess up with I don't know if the numbers really matter then. No. Uh, you know, we, have, we, have, we, have, we have plastic numbers that we put out of the ball pitch. And that's what they do. Yeah. We put out the plastic yard markers. We put those out to middle school. They're not. So you can just work and see. We like didn't that. cut in numbers on the lines. That's expensive. Yeah, it's like, I don't think we need numbers on the lines. I don't know how to paint with what. I don't know how to paint with what. And those, so are actually, those are actually those are actually cut and mowed. They they take it down and cut the pieces in white and glue them down with hot glue. That's expensive. Yeah. I have to get my right, but yeah. Like we 
never mind, we might find out there's something, so then we know what we know. Okay, so this one don't take the intention is this for to be only a practice field only? Never an actual day for soccer and talk about that part. I would think that the main field would be where you still play your soccer. Still play, right? still play because right. you're going to do it in the stadium. Now, would there be times when you've got a club team, so they were having a tournament, and we want to play soccer here, and soccer on this field? Or sure. We're that. doing it. We're doing youth, so we've got half here, we cut it in half, kick and chase this way, kick and chase this way, and the same thing on the field. Maybe. And then does this allow us to do full speed in the rec right center for them to practice? It's. it's I mean, it's closer. closer, but I know it's still up there. But only thing I think is no more than our turf field. How many more? So upset. That I, I like this idea of the use. Like they do, they're like they're setting up a brand new field, especially in the loose uses. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Hoffman and our other construction partners to run pipe and utilities to where we need them. So when we partner with the Booster Club uh, and leverage some of our additional funding to make those happen. Yeah, totally on the left. It's your pay by the inch. Plan is to add bathrooms to the field house as well. Okay. Where it gets, my, I, I guess what I envision, and we're just in that stage now of great creation. Um, I would envision the field house with the concession stand up there and restrooms. So positioning it so it could meet kind of baseball meter or anything else that would be there. I just remember that. Kids that you said you do things behind them, and that was a place where that is. We've had that before. Is that a field house or just a meeting warehouse there? Or is that a field house in Astoria across from the big ranch? That's a big field house. I think it's huge. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty big. Yeah, it goes from 20 to 22. It's big. big. This is one we play in Portland that is huge. It's like Bob Cabot style. So it doesn't seem in place now adding the higher one that we are going to have to put all together back there. Do we still have the same space that we've been having the playground area for the child care? Or are we going to have to move now? The child care is going off the back side of the building. It'll be covered. There are going to be paving and putting. Half of it will be paved, the other half will be it's right there. The front I just want to make sure we can bury it. Somebody's down here now. Okay. Okay. No. It's a little bit. In smaller. reality, that's right. Actually, it's, it's one side walk down from there. It's not right there, it's, it's right there. Yeah, there. Yeah. 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 I just didn't have a tire lane on the side. Exactly. No, the fire, the fire lane's in place and actually it puts it really close to the fire lane and it'll act, I think it'll give kids a little space to write. Right. This is actually what I have to translate. Yeah. Uh, the ability to get out braces. Yeah. 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 Especially down this way. It's not that stupid. They can have fun. Yes, they can. Okay. Well, actually, you can get to them with help if you need to fast it too. So the trick is now, one thing that I'd like to consider is accessibility to this for folks that have challenges just because I experienced it this summer at in Portland at Sherwood. We went to Sherwood and, and Rosie had to walk half of my table. Oh, it was a nice grade and, and she did it, but she had some more challenges and I said, well, other folks have challenges and, and actually Jacob's other grandparents also have challenges, and, and it was a heck of a hike. And and the restrooms, in fact, were the very, that was the motivator. We weren't going to go down there, and then we had to walk all the way down to the restroom and all the way back, and it was at the bottom of the thing, and it's just a big, long, sloping hill or 100 steps going up. I don't know how many, but it's an awful lot, 50 steps going up. So, so more, more of a bond oversight. Yeah. Be, we should bring that up. The, the current intent is to have people either come from here or through this section here. I believe in between, this is actually back of it. I think there might be space to walk between the two. So I'm not sure those are the ADA requirements. So there's also the parking that could be back here. So just, just I'm trying to make something that as a thought. Even if you could walk from here, in order to get to your stands over here and here, this is 400 feet. So we're walking a few hundred yards, and we got our parking that's out here, and we are ended up walking two, 300 yards each way, 400 yards. Is it from the soon that's a quarter of a mile, isn't it? Even closer than coming up from the lower end. Well, that's. It is closer. Is it from yeah. the lower end? Yeah. No, I mean, this would be closer. Yeah, going through the wood shop is probably going to work very well. Hopefully, there's going to be a. Well, yeah, the, the back side would be there. 
So going through the CTE area is kind of, it's just something to look at on a bigger scale and a bigger map and, and, start, and think about. Uh, this is pretty close to ADA grade, so people could get there, but it's just an awfully long walk. And if you're using a tennis ball walker and you're had hip replacement, it's a tough walk. There you go. <laughs> Only ten bucks, I'll take you right to your seat. What's yeah. in the little space right there between the fire lane and uh, kind of the end of the building? Which space fire lane? Okay, so you got the fire lane, it comes down, it gets to this the but bottom end of the What's in that yeah. little space now right up? The, not the oh, lane right back. There. What's there? That's right gonna be hopefully road shop edition. Probably road shop I was just thinking that maybe you could allow people to come in and be on the front and completely and park there. There's, there's got to be a way to have to find the shortest distance. And, and the other problem is that we just created a building from here to for B to C. There isn't the, the you can't walk through can't walk through it anymore. Yeah, can't walk through it anymore unless we put doors in. And that's really not our intent to make that ballpark. That can be a nice, nice path. It's, it just is what it is, it's, it's, but it's something that we want to look at that people don't we really want to look at it and make sure that it's as accessible as it can be. Now you're stuck, you know, the, the ground, that's the same problem sure would have. This, this is what, or we have room to build a stadium and this is what we're going to build. But, um, can you put it was a very expensive. You can get so far, and you can hardly get through grass. I mean, their path was 10 feet, 12 feet wide. It could literally drive a fire truck or an ambulance on it, and it was an agenda going up slope. But the time we could make it back up, but uh, two stops along the way. But it's, it's, uh, these are just challenges that we face, and, and we want to look at this and do the best we can. It might be, to, uh, I don't know, it might be shorter to park up here and have some sort of a walk that would get me. Yeah, it might be. Then you can watch the game. You can be in a outfield and you'll still be able to get there. Yeah. People pay. People pay. They pay money for this seat in Oregon State. But, you know, so it, it could be a short walk. Yeah. I, I, I think you're right. It requires a little bit big picture. Look at the big pictures. Make sure you can see what it takes. So, Randy, can we get into the dragon and everything? And now those dark parts are really good. It did cost us a lot. Okay, but I, I, I think if this is kind of the direction we're headed then again. It's perfect. I think it's, it just comes a time you have to make up your mind and move ahead then. So uh, I'm all for that. Okay, um, we're bringing back Welcome Back staff at Family Picnic, Tuesday, 29th, 4 to 6 30. Hopefully you can make it. Um, we are going to try to reach out and invite all of our retired folks as well in the past. Um, Stacy and the central office folks have done a fantastic job with burgers and hot dogs and bouncy houses and the fire truck and planning walls. So they're working on that. We may dial back a little bit. I think at one point we had hot candy, popcorn, snow cones, yeah, ice cream, ice cream and but it was a lot. And I, I'm not I'm not sure if kids and families have just been Snow cone cut candy as it would snow cone cut any ice cream. Yes. We're going to dial that piece. Especially when you have the bouncing house or anything else. Well, and it's hard to staff it. Base game. You know what? Something that you might want to check into. I just heard from one of my friends the other day that Don Reynolds is no longer renting the music. Oh, really? They might want to do some homework on that. We might have to get it somewhere else. I know that I know that a couple daycares. Purchased extra with grant money for them to have, and they are running them out on the weekend. And they are actually taking places, setting them up, going back and picking them up. And it might be that Don's is backed off of them. So, so check out to your vendor. The sheriff just put on a big deal like that. You can ask the sheriff where yeah, you got his. So we'll do, just do some double check. Well, we, we do. We reach out to the credit union, they bring in their folks. We reach out to. 
Do they all have candy? I didn't know that, so we'll ask about that. The National Guard, if they're available, will bring their own front line. I don't know. Um, I think they've got like a possible ghost. Yeah. 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 They might have a big like giant a long sled slide. They went to the bounce the park, that's 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 the That is my report. What well, one more thing on the so I do want to ask you yeah. to remember to think about is all these things that we do out in the field at the high school is that we make sure that we have different fuse boxes and different electrical outlets so that when you have big events and there's five bouncing castles or there's anything else, you don't know. So taking that in consideration. I even offered to donate with, I asked for a 50 amp, very specific plug to be put on the side of the middle school there so that we could put a cord out there and put a spider box. They put different plugs on there. I don't know that they're 50 amp or not, but what you want to do is have a spider box plug. And then with that, you have a two 220s available and you have six 110s and all ground all safe and what do you have plugs and again you can just run your extension cords and you just run the hundred foot cord out to wherever you want the spider box to go if you're gonna have a dance or be out on the field or do graduation or whatever. Wait, that anything. But it's it takes a 50 amp main plug and a cordless thing. And it's a problem that I use to solve my own issues so it's it's not it's not that hard, it's not that expensive and it does provide if you're gonna have a as long as they're running power, to just run yeah, it. Yeah, might as well do a second one. Yeah, you run a six hour wire out there and get it done. We, we couldn't even hook an extension cord to the plug that no one was using at the concession stand to one of the bounce cancels and lose the entire That's a blow. Yeah. So, anyway, so that's why I just want to make sure we think about that when we're going to do the kind of stuff those guys. Tuesday, it's, it's Tuesday, Wednesday. 
and we'll get that out there. Can you do a couple better reports for us to explain like how much Move to adjourn. 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 Move to ad